know guys when I'm coming out it just like I forget about my pain so when I'm sitting in my room it just drives me crazy so what I'm gonna go do I'm gonna go and leave everything in my room because I have to put some of this stuff in the fridge then I'm gonna take you guys to Lamai so let's go for a walk I mean Lamai Beach let's go for a walk for a few minutes it just helps me a little bit to forget about everything but one thing that I gotta tell you guys <coughs> Lamai Beach is very quiet very quiet so I haven't been to Shuang yet since I came to Koh Samui last week but probably Shuang is quiet too because it is off season and how I know is quiet to someone based on the hotel prices because when the hotel prices goes sky high means like it getting busy and when it's really low means there's nobody here somebody up <laughs> so this gentleman always sits there guys Lamai is very very quiet it's just unbelievable but most of the even most really famous restaurants are closed and the reason is because it's just so quiet extremely quiet Sabarika it is very quiet actually I like it when it's quiet even better because you know but unfortunately with the situation that I'm in with my eye it's just not enjoyable so this is all the massage places here all these ladies waiting for massage look there is a lot of them so this is this is guys this is not the normal massage one this is uh, one of those special type of massage Lamai Beach is dead. I'm sure everywhere in school somewhere is right that like this. But usually when Lamai is, when usually Kusamu is very slow, obviously here and Mainan Beach and stuff like that is affected more. Because most of the people going and staying in Shuang and the reason is because of the nightlife. Another food market here. Lamai Night Market. And the beach is right there, guys. Obviously, you can't see Russians here. <laughs> yeah, this hotel is just not functional for a long, long time. I don't know why not somebody buying it and then just, you know, do some sort of renovation and because it's a very good location. Hello. <laughs> he was looking at my camera. He was really like focused to say hello to this camera. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sabarika, why taxi is so expensive in Kusamu? Taxi mafia? Taxi mafia. <laughs> Oh man guys like when I'm outside be honest with you like just makes me feel better so I forget about my pain because when I'm sitting in my room and uh, this eye is just driving me crazy somebody up 
Let's get some wheat. Look at this wheat shop, it's so nice. Probably wheat helps with my pain, seriously. Maybe I should ask them, maybe the wheat is gonna fix my issue with the red eye. Is this you? No? Okay. <laughs> I never had any food here. Sabarika, why taxi is so expensive? Why? <laughs> White rentals exchange. Oh, finally, this uh, this Italian restaurant. He does the pasta, only pasta, nothing else. And I had once, a little bit pricey, but finally he's open. After a long, long time, because usually it's closed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, food, okay. nice. Good, good, good food. Very good food. I'll, I'll come back. Okay, all right. Thanks, man. Special offer. Good, good. I'll come back. Thanks. So that's the Indian restaurant here, and I guess it's the only Indian restaurant in Lamai Beach. I haven't seen anything else. Well, this is new. Oh, I saw this one before. Sabarika, how are you? Good? Everybody's bored. That's why everybody want to make conversation. Hello, Sabarika. Busy? No customer. Hello, Sabarika. You're so beautiful. <laughs> oh, she was cute, man. This is a new one. Oh, that's a Indian restaurant. So this is a number two Indian restaurant. Hello, Sabarika. What is that? What are you cooking? Best pancake. Oh, nice. And it is best. Best, best of the best. Italiano. Okay, let me go and ask this pharmacist. Sabarika. Are you a pharmacist? Okay, well, for past 10 days, I have an eye infection. Is this an eye infection? Yeah. So I'm taking antibiotics. But first antibiotics, only I took three days. And I went to another pharmacy and then she gave me something else. She said, just change because this is not good. But today is day number four that I'm taking the second antibiotics. So I feel much, much better, but it's still red. So do you think it's gonna get better? You have eye drop. Yes, I have eye drop, yes. yes. Do you think that's gonna get better? Uh, I, I, I want to know what kind of antibiotic uh, I don't know, eye drop. Uh, or no antibiotic uh, uh, that's a, that's all yours? Uh, uh, two break, two break. No, it doesn't look like that. I forgot the name. So do you think uh you have eye lotion, you should clean your eye. First clean yeah I and do then use clean eye drop and take oral antibiotic. Okay. Oh really? So after I drop, I have to take antibiotics again? Uh, you can take oral, oral antibiotics. Oh, really? So what do you recommend for antibiotics? But you... I you have an eye drop. What, 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 what medication do you have? I don't know. Oh, okay. But if antibiotics is okay, but you should take oral antibiotics. Oh, really? Yeah. 
Oh, so it's not in enough for eye drop yeah, only. Yeah, I think it's not enough. It is not enough. Huh? So what do you recommend for the antibiotics? Are you allergic to it? No, nothing. Guys, this is really fucking confusing. Now I just walked into another pharmacy just to find that to get the second opinion. Now all of a sudden this guy says I have to take oral antibiotics. I'm so fucking confused. Here seems to me there's no system in place. Like each doctor and each pharmacist says something different. So I'm not gonna take that chance, man. I'm gonna wait until tomorrow. I'm not gonna take more antibiotics on top of antibiotics and I don't know what is it. So the doctor didn't give me antibiotics, but this guy says I should take antibiotics. Seriously, can you, the, doc, the pharmacist cannot give you medication. But here it seems to me like everybody can give you medication. Oh, this is a Lamai Medical Clinic. another doctor office here oh this place is lovely I really like it let's see what they have hello, hello. no please no photo please sorry okay, this is the crazy lady <laughs> I walked into the shop and she said, no photo. <laughs> like people are, some people are really out of their mind here. Anyways, guys, so no photo, please, no photo. <laughs> but she's selling drugs, crack. This restaurant is new too. This is a new restaurant. Gigantic and nobody's there. Oh, even the bar is empty. This guy's a red light district. UFC on Sunday. <laughs> yeah. Here, this is the only place that gets busy at night sometimes here. Yeah. But look at it guys, Lamai Beach is dead. Completely. Look, there's absolutely nobody. McDonald's! Guys, 
I gotta clean my eye for one second. Taxi drivers are pests because they don't have no customers. And this fluffle shop is very quiet too. There is nobody here because the price is ridiculously high. Let me go grab ice cream. I want ice cream. Somebody come. Second ice cream for the day. Like that's too much. Somebody go. So this is ice cream number two for the day. Seriously, dead. <laughs> Nothing happening. Completely dead. Already I extended my stay in Lamai for another one week. I had to go to Shuang because here nothing happened. Let's go to the fish market. My fish market. This is the new one too. It was a bar here, so this one is out of business. And now this is the one. Thank you. 
so Muay Thai guy is coming. Tonight, tonight. Now it's like 7 30, maybe a little bit early. I don't know. But I can see there's few people here only. Uh, only two girls here. And the two ladyboys. I oh, guess ladyboys. There is only one girl there. Some people playing pool here. But she's cute. Let's see what's going on here. Sabarika. Hello. 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 How are you? Sabarika. So the girls doing nothing because they don't have no customer here. Nobody here. So it's getting a little more busy. Hello, Sabarika. <laughs> Sorry? Well, I have an eye infection. I gotta go and relax. I was I was in Kutau and I got a level of eye infection. Oh. You see that? I'm taking medications. Yeah. So hopefully once I feel a little bit better, I come and play with you. It's so cute. Yes. <laughs> Cheers. Bye bye. So the girls are so friendly, guys. Hello, Sabarika. <laughs> slowly, slowly, it's getting busy. Thai food. Oh, it is a Thai food. 
high tree. Let's go this way. Somebody come. Hey, somebody come. What time usually here gets busy? What 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 time here gets busy at night? What time people come into party? 10, 11? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is another Indian restaurant. Hello, Sabrika. Thank you. Hello, Sabadika. Hello. <laughs> it is very, very quiet. It's a wheat shop and a barber. Somebody come. <laughs> Thank you. 
This is a Mexican restaurant. 